first of all, let's enter the PicoScope from the um, shortcut on the desktop. And all right, let's make it really simple. I mentioned the presets earlier. This means that I don't actually need to understand how the scope achieves the collection of an image and displays the image. All I need to know is how to go to the menu to, to select the component. I want to look at ignition. I want to look at ignition primary. So I'm going to slide the cursor up to automotive and select ignition. And you can see that each selection brings another pop-up menu straight away. I want to look at primary. So I'm going to slide across to primary and we have yet another pop-up menu and it says primary, primary with current, primary ignition versus crank angle sensor, primary versus secondary, and primary voltage versus current. I just want primary, that's all I want is voltage. So I'm going to select the top, so I slide across, select primary, and you now have the next hands-on help. Let's say that we're unfamiliar with what primary is, how to connect, where to connect, how to connect. Here we have a comprehensive guide. I'm just going to tab down slowly so you can see the actual amount of content of information. Really to hold your hand to help you into this process of becoming confident with the scope. And you can see it explains probing. It then moves on to a sample of the waveform, what to expect from ignition primary. And the good thing with the Ignition Primary is that, that, that all systems are virtually identical in its primary format. So you become very familiar with this. It then goes into detail about some of the functional components of that waveform. And this is absolutely vital. It's, it's not just important that you show the waveform, but you actually understand the composition of it, because it's with that composition that you're going to find where the error is. And this software will help you do that. You can see it's very clearly um, identified. The sections are clearly described and detailed and you can see it's quite comprehensive. We go tab down and explains all the functions of the induction and uh, discharge of an ignition coil. As you can see now, the scope is in the profile for ignition primary. Simply depress the spacebar and the scope will run. So first of all, let's begin by starting the vehicle. We're to connect to the ignition primary circuit and I've also, um, as a, 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 a suggestion, put a sky hook up. It's very important that we look after the leads. The engine, of course, has rotating components and hot components, all of which are no-go areas for sensitive diagnostics. So I'm simply going to demonstrate the use of a sky hook and we're then going to connect to the ignition coil primary. The two connections that I've ensured are correct, battery negative with the reference lead and this type of vehicle has a double ended coil uh, principle where a four cylinder engine has two independent coils. We are in one coil winding only so we're looking in effect at a pair of cylinders. Now you press the space bar and we now have an extremely accurate rendition of the waveform in one of those coil primaries. And from this signal, we can now refer back to the help page uh, and the text to interrogate and understand all the composite components of that image. And if you like, let's just perhaps display uh, a simple fault. I'm going to just display a misfire. I'm going to do that simply by removing a plug lead and just creating an air gap across the plug. And we'll demonstrate how the burn time, the burn time is this section here, will diminish. And that's quite important. As you can see from that very simple but effective demonstration that during the process of just lifting the lead off the plug by using an oscilloscope you see very very clearly that there's a defect in the duration of the burn time and indeed because the firing voltage this section here rises it suggests that there's a high resistance in the ignition circuit and of course the help notes will identify that uh, to support your conclusion. There we have a very simple test made easy.